No. Rudy Gobert, last jazz player on the list, 21. Um, I love Rudy, but I was okay actually with this ranking because he's definitely, I love his value. He's one of the most valuable defensive players in the league, but the game is continuing to move away from a guy like him offensively. So I was fine with him at 21. Um, what are your thoughts on Rudy's ranking? Yeah, I like, I, I'm, I'm fine with Rudy at, uh, 21. Rudy is we love Rudy. Rudy is the best defensive player in the NBA. He's a three-time defensive player of the year award winner. I mean, like you said, the game moves away from Rudy. We saw that in the Clippers series. The Clippers series was a mess. And the Clippers series, people can say what they want. Rudy was, it's like, you can't ask a dolphin to fly. Rudy, (laughs) you, you know what I mean? We've tried so, that before. Dolphins can't fly. No. So, like, I as much as it's easy to blame him, that wasn't – I mean, what was the guy supposed to do, right? He's a, he's a rim defender, and he is maybe the best to ever do it, the rim. Sorry, Hakeem. Sorry, Dikembe. Yeah. But he's – and so it's just – it's so – he's such an enigma because he is – loved and adored by like a lot of statistical analyst freaks and obviously media and analysts appreciate him because he's won dpoy three times but nobody ever really steps up to like defend him as a good player in within the media or within analysts which is weird because they all obviously voted for him but nobody ever really steps up and I don't, you're barely on Twitter because you don't really know how to work a computer yet. But no, or a phone. I'm getting there though. And he is probably the most, like, he's one of the most slandered players on social media. And I get it because he's big and goofy and he's kind of cheesy sometimes. But he's a good, one, he's a good dude. He's just like a mm-hmm. nice guy. And two, he's good at basketball. Yeah. Like, teams, Draymond Green, right? He's an incredible defensive player. He can guard one through four, maybe five, whatever. But teams aren't scheming about how to take Draymond Green out of the paint or how to every possession remove Draymond Green defensively uh, from from the from the game. Like you know what I mean? That's you, a good te- point. Te- like like yeah, Draymond's an incredible defender. He's an incredible on ball defender um Simmons whatever other players like that but like teams will literally not shoot the ball in the paint because of Rudy Gobert like teams will you know what I'm saying the Gobert every it's the Gobert effect every every team that plays the Jazz Rudy is the first thing that they are scheming around they're not even scheming. They're not scheming about how to take the ball out of Donovan's hands. They're not scheming about how to stop the open three. They're scheming about how to take Rudy out of the paint and get him uncomfortable because he's so insanely dominant there. Yeah, and that's that's some that's where his value resides. And although offensively the game's moving away from him, he will always be what we call, in a lot of times in basketball scouting report, the head of the snake from a defensive point of. How are we going to deal with him? 